What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Warhammer 40k Death Watch. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we get lots of champions and stuff. I kind of wish he sold for more, but you still only get like the dirty six for him. He looks badass though. He almost looks like a chaos guy. He's like right on the edge. He's starting to get a little bit spiky, but I'm pretty sure he said no heresy when he put it on. He's also got a pimp cup on his chest, so that's pretty cool. Just in case you wanted to get crunk with it. Nonetheless, Angier Lupus, I think he got his regenerative ability now. So there's regenerative implants. He should get a little bit of health back, which means I'm probably going to lead with him quite a bit when we go into engagement since he's just going to regenerate anyways. He gets like, what, 10 health back a turn? Maybe 6 or 7 health back a turn? So that'll be nice. That'll be... Or no, he should get 10. He'll get 12, 13. I'm sorry. So that'll be pretty sweet. These guys over here, helos. Let's level some guys up because I think we have stuff to do. More war gear never makes me less happy now that I have war gear options. And so since we've picked up a little bit of this stuff, I'm just going to bring frags on everybody because they cost 1 AP and they do AoE damage for guys that otherwise don't really have AoE. I keep hoping we'll pick up some Master Crafted or some Artificer Bolters so that we can upgrade some of these little guys, but unfortunately it hasn't come down like that. I'll probably slap in a little bit more HP for you because I've noticed they were taking a pretty considerable amount of damage from some of the bigger enemies. However, for right now... Carl Halfclaw, what are you chilling with? You got 2,000. Okay, doesn't matter to me. You've got that with the melted gear. Okay, it'd probably be good to give you another piece of war gear so that you could have the laser specialization, but... Meh. Pain suppression, I'm actually probably just going to take the blind grenade instead because I'd like to have support stuff and get rid of enemies that way. We have Brother Ladarius. We have Sigismal. Who is our first guy from the Black Templars, which is pretty cool. I like the Black Templars. Not, I mean, I'm not really into them, but they're kind of cool. I keep hoping a Salamander will show up because I will swap a Salamander in right now. Like, right this second, right now, right now. I think it's probably a really good plan in this game to run a pure army if you can. Like, not one of the ones, for example, I don't know. Ultramarines have that brotherhood thing where they bro fist up that's pretty good. As well as, I think every chapter has their own, like, special version of whatever that is. Where if you have, like, all of their chapter or multiples of their chapter. He's a really good character. I sincerely wish that he was not a Devastator. I wish that he was a normal Assault Marine. Because I'd swap him in for one of these guys right here and we'd start leveling him up. Maybe level him off camera a little bit. Do a couple of missions. Make a B team. Swap them all in. Because I have a Champion and Assault. Yeah, it would have been good. If I could get a B team, maybe I'll stop selling him. I'll make a B team so that I can play the game. I can stream it or something later. And then play whatever I want. But that's enough equipment manipulation. A psychic autopsy of the Broodlord's brain revealed the next stage of the Tyranid plan. The aliens are looking for strategic defense data cores. With these, the hive mind will predict the Imperium's every move. A base in the Barren Lands contains such cores. The kill team must infiltrate the area and secure the data cores. Alright, so pretty standard fare for Space Marines. Go to the thing, shoot a lot, and then pick up thing and return with it. The Tyranids are closing in on the base entrance. Kill team must fight their way through the alien invaders to access the complex. Brothers, the base is ahead, though the stench of the Xenos fouls the air. These canyons are narrow and the enemy is insidious. Stay alert. Look, there's wall anemones. Ultra Nemonies. That is what we call those where I come from. Ultra Nemonies. It's fun to say, too. Sounds like a guy who slew a titan or something. It's Ultra Nemonies. Oh, shit. I really wish they would stop, like, dogpiling the entrance like that. It's kind of cheese mode. I don't know. Like, they've done it pretty consistently now where they just, like, dogpile the entrance. It's like, well... It's kind of lame, man. Give me a turn to move or something first. Either way, it's not going to be that hard. He's going to take a lot of damage, though. Like, da oh, you can flash grenade? We'll do that, then. Take that. Ah! Wow, that worked really well. Like, that worked surprisingly well. Oh, I've still got an AP left? Well, oh, man, you would miss, wouldn't you? You would miss. Luckily, I mean, we just got to hope that he's as inaccurate. Stop trying to shoot me in my ultra junk. Just kidding, that's my blood junk. Ooh, that is not attractive. For genitalia, that is not an attractive gnomer. Mmm, the blood junk. I will do my duty as a member of the Death Watch, but I will be pleased to make my hands on Baal. Are all blind, your soap will That has nothing to do with it. I have fought beside many chapters in the past, 
It is who the Death Watch answer to, I do not trust. Brother, we all answer to the Inquisition, whether we are of the Death Watch or not. Yep, that's true. The Inquisition pretty much runs everything in the Imperium. Like, they can requisition entire Space Marine chapters if they really want to. They probably won't because it's a lot of paperwork and it breeds bad blood. But if they wanted to, technically the Inquisition could show up and be like, Hey, dog, this entire fat chunk of the Space Marines chapter is now under my control because I found there's a heretic threat or something like that. It's... Oh, shit. Alright, so step... Nope. Oh, that's just a warrior? Well, I'm not that afraid of a warrior. That's not that bad. I mean, it could be worse. I'm trying to decide who I want to overwatch over here. Eh, that's not going to work either. I was hoping that from right there, because that's pretty clearly line of sight. I was hoping that from right there he'd be able to take a shot, but nope. Alright, back in cover, homie. And then I guess we'll just get into position to deal with this guy when he comes around the corner. Is what it is, I guess. This guy's about to get pounded on, though. Yup. Donkey punched into submission. God. What do you make of the mundane humans and their assertion that the Emperor is a god? I take little notice. The old father is just that, the father to us all, but a god. The wolf priest tell us if he ever woke from his slumber, he would be against such a notion. I and yet the Ecclesiarchy preaches differently. The Ecclesiarchy's brother, all the people who come out with the Ecclesiarchy's upon us. Hey, yo, just keep shooting. That's all that really matters here. Just keep blasting. As long as you're shooting something, I am not displeased with you. Alright, and so let everybody form up. We're kind of fighting in weird quarters right now. Everybody form up, and then we're going to make for this cover on the next turn. I'm going to play a little bit more carefully. I'll probably swap him out with one of the other tacticals. Let somebody else go first. They love those blind corners. Oh, shit. We have one of those... I don't know. Yeah, and Kylosaurus looking bastards, it explodes. I don't even know if it's worth it for him to go for that. He might not be able to make the shot. Oh, look at that. We got strobe lights. We're coming in. They're letting people know that the show is a go. Because we don't even know. Can you shoot him? Go ahead and shoot him. I, I need you to do this for me. There you go. I like the explosions in this game. I really do. The explosions are badass. So how frequently can you throw grenades? Like, what's the cooldown on that? Because it looks like the grenades are back up. And I think they're like a free action, too. Like, I'm pretty sure he can just, like, throw grenades to his heart's content if he wants to. What I really need is, like, a healing potion or something. That'd be pretty awesome to bring along as well. I'm gonna step him out because I hate my life. And I would like to sabotage my efficiency here. I don't know if that thing's actually gonna be able to get at us. Like, it says they've got, like, a laser gun or something, but they never seem to shoot me with it. I think we gotta step back. So shoot him real quick. You maybe, like, step back over there or something. Just, like, spread out a little bit, maybe. I was going to say, it felt like that was going to happen. Go ahead and get the kill right there. Come around this way. Put him on Overwatch on this side. Slap these two idiots back into cover. Oh, shit. Okay, so there's a big guy right there on the left-hand side. Or I guess the northern area. 
All you can really do is hope that he missed. They don't hit that hard, but they can definitely ruin your day if they want to. Apparently, we have to go over by the tank that is marked as sensitive equipment. So I'm going to step back over to here. My guess is that we're going to have to bait this dude. Step to there. And it looks like he's going to play the same game with us. A little bit troublesome, but we should be all right. Swing him out wide. Swing him out wide, and we should be good. I don't think he's going to try and close that gap. He might. Took a lot of damage right there. For what turned out to not really be that smart of a move. Go ahead and take him. Melt the gun seems about right for a thickly armored friend like him. Get into cover. Get into cover. And... You know what? Get into cover right there. I don't think we're flanked anymore, so this might actually work. I'm trying to bait him, if you're wondering what I'm trying to do right now. I want to bait him around this corner. There we go. Perfect. Now we have options. Can you not shoot him from right there? I'll tell you what, corners are weird in this game, aren't they? Uh, let's give the kill to somebody else. I mean, as long as you die on this turn, I don't really care what else happens. I don't really need to, like, duck into cover or anything as long as he gets out of my way. Out of my ultra way. Get him in behind this lamp, maybe? I like how there's lots of cover on this map. You notice they start giving you a lot more cover after they start putting in a lot more ranged guys, so you can play a little bit more carefully. I still don't. I still, like, charge forward like an idiot, but, you know. Do we kill everything? We might have killed everything. Ah, I knew there was going to be a catch. Hey, buddy. You know what your name is? Your name is Catch. And I don't like it when you exist, so unfortunately you got to go. Yeah, it's going to be mostly campers at this point. So essentially, we kind of just want to check our corners. I'm going to move him along this wall just so we have a nice array of Marines that are all over the place. Something I can feel happy about. Seems about right. Oh, there's another one. Good. Just what I always hoped for. Well, then we shall corner up right there and hope for the best with that Melta. It's probably one camp back here. Maybe one camp back here. Not totally sure, but at least all the mobile ones that come after you are gone. Sweep went pretty well, so I'm not really... Hey, there he is. Let's go ahead and give him a little bit of DACA, shall we? Actually, I don't know if I want to do that. Let's go ahead and bring him behind whatever this big... I don't know, I assume it's some kind of generator because it's powering all the spotlights. Just so we can be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, when we arrive. Make it all sexy. I like to arrive with fanfare. Ultra fanfare. I don't think we have a lot of cover on this shot. Yeah, so he's going to get to return fire like once. It's not that bad, though. Could be worse. He hit us with his giant little, I don't know, praying mantis claws. It's hard for me to take an enemy seriously when he's purple. I don't know. 
Something about a purple alien really just doesn't terrify me. I don't know what it is, but the color purple does not scare me. Got another little guy over here. Sounds like a job for my man on the flank. And then I think we're done here, ladies and gentlemen. Which makes me happy because I'm trying to mash out as many of those Inquisition points as possible so that I can get myself some super awesome war gear. The packs definitely seem to give you better stuff than like the one you get as a freebie at the end of the mission. Am I missing somebody? Holy shit, I've been missing somebody the entire time. Devastator Marine's been gone. Well, ain't that embarrassing. Ha! I mean, to be fair, the Devast I thought I felt a little bit low-handed the entire time. Oh, well. I was going to say, I feel like we don't have as many moves as normal, but it seems to be all right. Eh. This would be one of those times where you would want to take the 4 XP for or the 4 AP from the next turn. Move him on over here. But anyways, we've killed everything on the map, so I'll come back once we win the mission. There we go. All better. We have reached the Imperial base. Is it an Ultra base by chance? I don't think that it is. Pretty sure it's not an Ultra base. I think they just call those Imperial bases. These missions are really... I feel like the payouts have gotten a lot lower on these missions because they don't like spawn endlessly. 20 right there and another... Actually, that's pretty good. I like Refractor Fields. It's a 20% chance to dodge, which is great against ranged attacks. It's only for ranged attacks, though. So... Keep that in mind when you use it. We don't really have anything to spend money on right now, so we might as well continue. Fire Flood. The kill team has entered the base's depths. They must now collect the data cores and flood the complex with Promethean. The Xenos will burn for their intrusion. I think Promethean is what they fire out of flamers. Pretty sure, anyways. It's like really, really, really... Oh, it's like Ultra Napalm. And I'm not saying that to be funny and go along with like our Ultramarine thing we've been doing the entire game. It's actually like... Super mega, if like super, if Superman is to humans what Promethean is to like Napalm. Brothers, the facility has been overrun by Tyranids. Open valves and flood the system with Promethean. This place will become a tomb for those who defile it. The funny thing about that is though, is we keep blowing up like bridges and bases and all kinds of other random stuff. But there's no real guarantee that we can replace the stuff that we're destroying. Like, that's the truth of the matter, is that, like, in the Imperium, they don't really invent ne new technology because they're afraid. This is for the people that don't know anything about Warhammer 40k. Because they're afraid of being heretics and, like, anything new is heresy. And so, anyways, they're terrified of new technology or anything like that. And so, in general... They don't really try and invent things. They mostly just fix all the old stuff that they already have from the Elder Days when they actually still, like, invented stuff. And so, it's kind of an interesting thing whenever they blow up one of their own bases or they self-destruct something. Because technically, that's equipment that they might never get back. Oh, look, we got a Splody over there, too. Ow! Holy shit, he's a machine gun turret. He doesn't hit that hard, but... It looks good, and it's definitely intimidating. You little bastard. I'm gonna shoot you right in your face all day long. Where'd the big guy go? That's weird. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this right now. Oh, he's exactly where I thought he was going to be. Uh. How much HP does he have? 225. If I hadn't left this guy like a giant bung plug in the middle of my advancement, I think we'd probably just move back over to here. Cheat him out of a shot if you can. I don't suppose you got like a blind grenade that you want to throw. He could have. I think he could have thrown it while well, out. Yeah. Shit. Well, that's fun. Let's get retaliated on. Mmm, lovely tyranid kisses. Ow. Thank you. 
They come at us, brothers. Suppressing fire. Let them taste bombs of fire. For the Emperor! Yes, yes, for the Emperor. For the Big E. Never mind. He handled that all by his lonesome. Good for him. Continue advancing, brothers. It's kind of spooky in here. Why do they decorate like this? Couldn't they make it like more festive? I don't know. Make it like a Chevy's. When you pull in, it's like... Ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Little bit of horn music. Maybe some salsa and some dip. Little receptacles in the walls that hold those. I'm sure we've come up with the technology at this point. It's the year 40,000 after all. If you've had 40,000 years of human development and you haven't come up with an awesome way to mount salsa and chips inside your walls, what the hell have you been working on? I mean, frankly, who wants to live in a world that does not have salsa dispensers in the walls? I'm gonna send him first because he regenerates. Tiptoe through the tulips by the windows. That's where Angelovis will be. Hmm. I don't trust this. It's quiet. Super quiet. Mm -hmm. Until someone farts in their power armor. It's never the wrong time. I would assume they'd have some kind of charcoal filtration system for that. So we aren't about to be bathed in Promethean, are we? Fuel switch alpha has been flicked. Uh, don't send him first. He's looking a little scuffed. Let's put him in cover for right now. Too many blind corners for me to feel good about this. I don't know. Seemed like a pretty good spot to break up the episode, so I'm going to do that. My name is Splattercat. This is Warhammer 40k Death Watch. I will see you all next time. Hi, do everybody.